Hey everybody. Okay guys, today is gonna be um, a funny one. We're gonna, I'm gonna get like intimate and up close and personal with you all and share a secret. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm doing, how I'm like positioned the way I am. Um, so actually like I recently like disclosed I'm autistic and I'm just gonna do a little disclaimer. I'm a little embarrassed for this. So let's just go ahead and get into it. But here's my hair. <laughs> um, this is my hair after <laughs> that I have my glasses on. Look at this. I promise this is not a wig. This is like literally my hair. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna hold on. I just need to laugh for a minute. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's like it has a mind of its own. Okay, so I'm making this video though because. You know, there was a few reasons I'm making this video. The first one is because I want to show you some of the products I use on my hair, even though I am white. The reason I use them, I'll tell you why in a little bit. I got in a little disagreement with this. Um, she's She works with a hairstylist in a salon, and she said, like, using oils is bad in your hair. Um... I'm not a professional, I can't confirm nor deny that, but I could tell you that the damage done to my hair already um, probably doesn't matter. Um, you know, clearly I have bleached my hair at one point. Um, and even with my natural hair, like I do this anyway. So, you know, I use uh, this right here, Olive Oil Sheen Spray by ORS. Um, and usually I'll use like any kind of oil just to kind of like break it apart a little bit and to kind of make some sense with my hair but um another reason i wanted to also um tell you like show you all this is that i'm pretty sure uh maybe some mothers who have autistic children are kind of dealing with similar things i'm dealing with and maybe they don't know how to take care of it like <laughs> look at this this is this is like, anyone who would look at this would be like, no, we have to shave your head. There's no way. I literally deal with this like pretty much every day. So I'm used to it. I don't care. This is like, whatever. This is just another Thursday for me. Um, but I wanted to make this video because I want to show you like it's totally possible. You can come through this even though it's like, so. there's no way I could, I can't put any fingers through there. But... I promise it's doable. It might take about 20 minutes or so, but bear with me. We can do this. And also, I don't have iMovie. Like, for some reason, it's not downloading, so I can't edit this, and you all are just going to get the full range of this. But, um, like I said, I use a little bit of the olive oil sheen spray to, you know, just get it a little bit detangled as much as I can. Fit it in there. I'm oh gonna move this candle. It's really bad. And comb, brush. Okay. So what I do is I'll try to separate enough hair from the scalp as much as I can. And. If it's not too bad, like see, sometimes some some of it will fall down and that's what you want to start on. You know, you want to start on the things that are doable. And this takes a lot of patience, like so much patience. I use a lot of oils in my hair because of the damage that I, you know, do to my hair because of my rolling back and forth for hours listening to music. Um, it is a stem of mine. Um, stemming is something that autistic people do for like self-regulation and to feel better for comfort and stuff. And that's why I do it. Um, so if you're on my Facebook, like you'll see that I post a lot of music links. And the reason I started doing that, um, really just kind of really notice and put self-awareness on how often I do this. Because I do it a lot. <laughs> So, you know, I'm just kind of starting with um, the hair that's falling 
you know, some of it, it gets really bad up here, but you know, you just want to kind of loosen up as much as you can. Um, start from the bottom because you know, it hurts a lot less. Um, my hair is going to be very oily and I can obviously like shower it, wash it and stuff. And it will be manageable. Um, but I like to use a lot of oil in my hair, like I said, because of the damage I take from doing this. I get a lot of split ends. Like I get a minimum of at least two inches from split end damage because of this. I do it nightly. Like it's a pattern of mine, like a routine. I have to go in order for me to go to, go to sleep. I have to do it. So, you know, I got used to it. I've been doing it since 2007. And yeah, as you can tell, I'm a little bit nervous doing this. Like I said, I'm like, pretty embarrassed um <laughs> i always have been so the oil makes it so much easier though like you see how faster like if i was to show you without the oil this would be so much harder to contain see just and i had a few issues with how this uh, hairstylist approached me about this because i did mention like i do do this and I use the um, oil, you know, to help loosen up all the knots and stuff. And it didn't make sense to me because how come I can bleach my hair, put colors in it, and no one thinks about the damage from that, but, you know, putting oil that's not good for my hair because I'm white. I don't understand that. You know, I just don't personally understand that. But to each their own, I did my own research, and it is actually very beneficial. And I think I'm, especially with my bleached hair, doing it a favor, poor thing. So, as you can see, I'm getting some sort of sense here. Still a little bit matted right here, you can feel it. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. We're making some leeway here. I wish I could speed this up for you all in editing, but like I said, my iMovie app doesn't want to download, so we are just gonna do what we can. But you know, for any of you mothers out there that are kind of dealing with this, like your, your uh, or you know, fathers as well, if you're dealing with your child who is. I don't like to say dealing, that sounds so, I don't know, I don't like the way that, if you're, you know, having to figure out ways to accommodate your child with hair like mine because of whatever they might do to help them sleep, like any kind of rocking, any kind of matting they have from rocking their head back and forth, these are just a little bit of tips and tricks I have for you, because I've been doing this since 2007. Um, so then I part it and I kind of like see what progress I've done, kind of put it on the side here once it goes through all smooth and stuff. Yeah, gotta get that all brushed out. So then I just part it and make sure I get the stuff I need to work on on one side and then Um, like I said, it takes a lot of patience, and this is the side I usually rock on more. I like, not that I usually, that I do rock on. I only rock on one side. I don't rock on the other side. So, this is where the fun part begins. And again, you just want to start here at the bottom. And okay, another thing is I'll use my fingers because this is like the matted part. Um, from the scalp to like separate where the mattedness is from the scalp and kind of gently, not kind of gently, just brush it through where your palm is. Like you see like my hand right here, just gently, not, you know, don't want to rip your hair, your uh, kid's hair out of their scalp. That won't be good for anybody, nobody. So. I know mine didn't start until I was around, until I was around 13. So, you know, maybe your 
even though you know your child is autistic um but they're not you know doing the stuff that i'm doing they're not rocking back and forth uh for hours on end like i knew <laughs> and i don't know every every autistic person is different they all have their own stems and self-regulatory uh, self-regulation behaviors like this is what i do this is what has helped me because no one really sees it unless I'm staying the night with somebody and which is another reason why I didn't really like staying the night with people because I would have to do this you know and then they would see it and it would just be very awkward and yeah and only a few people have actually witnessed me doing this and it's the people I trust or had no choice but to trust. So, as you can hear, like it, it's looking better, but you can still hear there's still some, still quite a bit of knots and some maddedness. Um, I've already sprayed the sheen spray, as you can see the shine and stuff, the oil. So go ahead and wash that off. Um, yeah, and you'll see the difference. I have to figure out how to get like a this iMovie thing and show you before and afters. Maybe I'll re-upload this another time once I get that situated. But as you can see, we're finally getting to some containment here and my hair is finally starting to cooperate and I'll just kind of work that oil with the heat in my hands um, just because like it gets so frayed here from rocking back and forth and just the friction for such a while from my pillow and stuff. Alright. So I can finally put my fingers through my hair. And, you know, of course it's very oily. Um, so when I dyed my hair, when I first bleached my hair, it was very difficult to do that. Like, I couldn't, my hands are so oily from the spray. Um, I couldn't rock, like, back and forth. Like I would usually do, um, because it was just so difficult. Uh, it was just so damaged. But I do want to say, like, I want to give a shout out washing my hands because there's so much of this about all the glue in it. Um, I want to give a shout out, um, and this is where I'm gonna put on the ends of my hair, like the the tips right here. I want to give a shout out to this stuff right here because it is so good. It's the Paul Mitchell um, Marula Oil. I love this stuff. I like to put it uh, after I get out of the shower when it's damp. Just work it in there. It's nice. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I hope you learn a little something or maybe you get to learn a little something about me. This isn't really something um, that I tell people because it's embarrassing. Like, honestly, I was embarrassed. Ooh, falling. I was embarrassed about it for quite a while. Like, I wouldn't go to sleepovers. I wouldn't, you know, even if I would go to sleepovers, like, I would try not to do that. But most of the time, like, I knew my friends long enough to where they knew I would just do that. And yeah, some of the comments I would get from brushing my hair would be so funny. But yeah, this just want to, you know, kind of, I guess, open up a little bit more to some of you all. Um, let you know what I go through on a daily basis. <laughs> literally a daily basis. This is literally, I do this every day. I brush my hair every day. I have to use the oils every day. Um, which I think because of, like, because I already use oils in my hair, um, it's helped the bleaching, like the damage from the bleaching, which any bleach is going to damage your hair, especially, like, as you can see, my natural color. Um... You know, in one day, this actually turned out really well. I was surprised. So, good on you. But, yeah. 
this is this right here this is the box for it and this i love this stuff it has helped me through so much like usually it could take anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes but that cuts down at least like five to ten minutes <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower, wash my hair because it's really oily, and then just apply a little bit of the tip tray there for like damage, uh, any possible damage from the rocking back and forth. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Bye.